Let's redo that. Hold on. Pretend you didn't see it. Shh. My besties, before we begin, this video is sponsored by Aura. Thank you so much, Aura, for sponsoring today's video. Now, y'all, I'm sure I don't need to be the one to tell you that a lot of our information is out there, okay? Like full name, address, where to find you, really creepy stuff, okay? Even health records or like your relatives, your family members. But now that's why I've been using today's sponsor on this video, which is Aura. Essentially what Aura does is they show me which data brokers are selling my information and they automatically submit opt-out requests for me. So essentially they clean up all my information and that helps me not get as much spam and that helps reduce the risk of me getting hacked. Now getting hacked listen, is one of my biggest fears, okay? Like not only social media accounts, but also bank accounts, like where you have very sensitive information. Absolutely not. And Aura does all the hard work for you. It's essentially like you going and locking your little front door and then you go to sleep and Aura stays on doing all the work while you're asleep and just making sure that things are in order, making sure that you are safe and that your privacy is safe, which is something I very much value for me and for you. So if you want to join me, you can click the link in the description and start your 14 day free trial. Thank you so much again, Aura, for sponsoring today's video. Hello, my shorty base. Hello, my besties. I, I am here. <laughs> Hello, howdy. Here I am, in case you were looking for me. Look at my hat. It says I love sports romance. I literally got it with my art copy of The Rule Book by Sarah Adams, and I'm just vibing with this hat. I am vibing with this hat. But do we, I don't know if I want it backwards or what. Like, which way do I want to wear this hat? This just gives me like a bro dude vibe. You know what I mean? I'm just one of the guys. I am just, I am just a guy. <laughs> Standing in front of a girl, but this this gives me I like sports, you know, so we don't really know what vibe we're going for We're gonna stay with this vibe for now and then maybe we'll change halfway through the video What do you say about that? That way we can have a little bit of both It is officially time for us to make our April TBR now What does TBR stand for if you're new here to be read meaning we're gonna be reading it in the month of April. Now, usually I lie. Usually I am a liar through and through. I sit here with a straight face every single month and I tell you, hey, I'm gonna read these books. And I, I name like 10 books. And then the whole month passes by. I read not a single one. And at the end of the month, I give you a wrap up that has not a single one of the books that I said I was gonna read. And then I move on and I never talk about it because mind your business, you know what I mean? So usually I lie. Let me explain to you why I'm not gonna lie this month. And you're gonna understand. Once I explain to you this, you're gonna know just how serious this month is because I made a bet. Because I made a bet, let me call my mother. Please hold. Just you wait, okay? You're about to get the, the lowdown. Hello, Art. How beautiful you look. Thank you, Eureka. I am filming and I am here for you to tell the people that we made a bet, didn't we? We did. We did make a bet. Exactly. So a bet was made. Uh excited but i'm nervous she's excited and nervous so basically eureka made my tbr for this month yeah! Yeah! bangers only bangers <laughs> <laughs> and are you ready for the bet essentially what my mom bet me is if i read all 10 books that she put on my tbr every single one of the books then she will hold on are you ready are you ready she will read boys of tommen all four boys of tom and book and she'll read the rest so like because there's more coming yes i know i'll read them as they come exactly so this is a big deal okay gotta go <laughs> okay look at my hat it says i love sports romance i love it so you see you heard it from the horse's shoe Li no <laughs> You heard it from the horse's mouth. No, that's weird because that's me calling Eureka a horse. You heard it from Eureka, okay? We made a bet. We literally made a bet that if I read every single one of these books, she's going to read Boys of Tommen, which as you know is my favorite series of all time. If you don't know, now you know. It, literally, I would die for that series. And she's going to read the entire thing. So that's an incentive for me to read this entire TBR because if I don't, then she won't and I want her to. So therefore, I will. Got it? Good. So here are the books, okay? She sent me a text and told me all of the books. I don't have any books physically within my grasp because let me explain. I only really want one of these books. I ordered one of them already. They're, it's on the way to my house. But the rest of them all have horrible covers. They, you'll see the cover because I'm gonna put them here. They all have man covers. They all have covers with people in them. People with abs. I don't want people with abs in my covers. I wanna look mysterious and amazing when I'm reading on the train. I don't take the train, but if I were to, I would wanna look mysterious and amazing. And I can't look mysterious and amazing if I'm reading a book with a man on the cover. A man on the cover with abs. Ew we don't want that 
So anyway, I don't want to own any of these books, but I, I will own one because one of them is on their way to me. The cover is actually kind of cute, but I will be reading all of these books on my Kindle. So here we go. First up is Even If It Hurts by Sam Mariano. Okay, we have Even If It Hurts and Untouchable, both by Sam Mariano. I've never read this author before, so this is going to be my very first time. Now, my mom told me a little bit about each book so that I could tell you guys a little bit about each of them without spoiling anything. So Even If It Hurts and Untouchable, both of them are high school bully romances. Right, right off the bat, I hate it. Right off the bat, I don't want to have anything to do with that because high school, that's first of all, I hate high school. I didn't like high school when I went and I don't like high school now. And bully. I also didn't like bully when I was bullied and I don't want it now. Those are two of my least favorite tropes. I don't like to read high school and I don't like to read bully. And my mom managed to put two not one, but two bully high school romances on my TBR. What? Like that makes me want to cry, die, and throw myself off a cliff because what in the actual fuckery is this? Anyway, <laughs> I guess I'll read it. You know what I mean? Apparently both of them are like good girl and then captain of football team and then captain of swimming team, popular guy. I don't know. I don't know. I cannot fucking tell you, but I'll read them. I'll read them for Boys of Tommen. Then we have Hawk by Jesse Hall. I read one book by Jesse Hall before and that was That Sick Love and I did not like it, but people say Hawk is much better. All I know about this one is essentially this guy is in prison. Yes, that's right. Prison. Okay. And he leaves. He's like, bye. I'm guessing he gets released. I don't think he runs away. I think he gets released. And then he goes to live with his friend and his friend has a wife. And I think that that's the romance. So we have a little bit of forbidden. We have a little bit of cheating trope. All things I hate. But once again, I'll read it because boys of Tommen. Clearly my mom's like testing my patience. She's like trying every single thing that I don't like and putting it in a TBR and I'm going to be forced to read it. And you know what? My mom does pick really good books because a lot of the times I actually really, really love it. Like some of my favorite books, my mom recommended them to me. God of Malice, for instance, for the fans, like those were recommended to me by my mother and they're my favorite books of all time. So clearly like the taste is there. I just got to give it a chance. And then I have to read, okay, this is a series. I'm going to read only the first two books from said series and then eventually I'm gonna go and finish it because I I can't have a whole series on my TBR I'm never gonna finish it you know but I put King and Tyrant those are the first two books in the King series my mom said there's like a prequel I read the prequel a long time ago not a long time ago a couple months ago it's like the light within us the darkest light the light or something the light that shines something about a light and it's the prequel I read that and so now it's King and Tyrant and this is like a duet following the same couple it's like this guy and his best friends are all in motorcycle clubs but I don't think he is in a motorcycle club I think he's just a guy he's just a man I don't really know and she has amnesia I know that. That is literally all I know about it. I know nothing else. And it's apparently like a 10 book series. So eventually I'll read the rest. But King and Tyrant are the first two. And then all the other guys get books. If you've read this, do let me know if it's good. My mom's obsessed with it. So clearly I'm going to have to read it. So you don't even have to let me know if it's good or not because I'm going to read it regardless. But, you know, it would be a nice incentive if you do tell me that. Next up, we've got Wrath by Ella James. Now, this book, I've been eyeing it for a really long time, I will say. It has come and gone for my Kindle many a times. I've randomly put it there. I've randomly taken it out. So it's it's been in my radar. I know it's MM and I know it's Step Brothers, but it's Step Brothers in the way of For the Fan Step Brothers where they meet in the last year of high school. So I don't find that weird. So that kind of Step Brothers is okay to me. So let's see what I think about this one. It is really long though. It's like 700 pages and apparently the trigger warnings are trigger warnering, you know? So I'm, I'm a little scared, but I'm I'm excited nonetheless. And then we've got another one that's part of a series. Again, I'm only going to read the first two, but then eventually I will read the other ones as well. Sugar and Skulls and then Watercolor in Skulls and both is the Rebel MC. So this clearly follows a motorcycle club. My mom was on a motorcycle club kick, okay? This is giving Sons of Anarchy. I know nothing about these books besides the fact that they follow a motorcycle club and all of them probably follow different members of said club but i'm pretty sure like even though they're interconnected standalones every single one kind of makes up an underlying story of the whole series so i am going to read the whole thing eventually then this is the one that i'm the most excited this is the one that i ordered the cover because i actually think it's so cute and it sounds so intriguing to me it's called on the line by naomi loud now naomi loud i have another one of her books i have a trilogy that she wrote it's like was it ever real was i real were you real are we real be real something like that and so i want to read this book this is a line cook romance and it is a dark romance but like following restaurant people like she she literally like gets kicked out of her home or something like that and she starts rebuilding her life and she becomes a server in this restaurant and he's the line cook and it is like a dark romance kind of thing. It gives me Butcher and Blackbird. Therefore, I want to read it immediately. By the time you're watching this, I'm already probably reading this book. That's how much I want to run to it. Like as soon as my mom said that she read this book, it seemed right up my alley. Like it doesn't seem like the kind of book she would read. It seems like the kind of book I would read. So I am so excited for this one. Immediately reading, immediately buying. I don't even care. If I don't like this book, 
uh, I will never show my face again. I'll be very sad. And lastly on our list is the one that I am the most excited for. No, not excited at all. The one that I'm most scared for. <laughs> Let's redo that. Hold on, pretend you didn't see it. Shh. Next on our list and last on our list is the one that I am the most nervous for and that is Sicko by Ammo Jones. The reason why I'm nervous for this one is because everyone says it's terrifying. Like not terrifying, but that it is like nothing you expect. I know nothing about it. Like I'm going into this book pretty blindly and I think I'm going to leave it last to read on my TBR because it's probably going to fuck with my brain and I'm not excited for that kind of kind of tomfoolery. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. I've never read anything by Emma Jones. I'm not going to lie. All of these books, y'all, I've never read anything by any of these authors, I don't think. No, all of these authors are new to me besides Jesse Hull. Every single other one is new. Now, this is why I like when my mom makes my TBR. I let her make my TBR usually once or twice a year because she always puts new authors that I've never heard of, new books I've never heard of, and a lot of the times I find new favorite books. But a, a thing that I don't like is she's very, very dark, okay? Her taste is like, it's not mediocre dark. It's not just a little bit. Like, it's like, she, it's dark. You know what I mean? Every book she reads is like, girl, what the fuck are you reading? It's that kind of book, you know? So I'm a little bit scared, but I am excited. Now, let me know. Let me know if you want to see a full vlog for every single one of these books. Like if you want me to vlog reading my mom's entire TBR, I will, I will do that. It's going to be obviously non-spoiler because, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do a 10 book full spoiler video. Like what, you trying to kill me? But you know, I'll do a 10 book like non-spoiler video. No, yes, non-spoiler video. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see that. I am excited, but I am nervous. But I do have an incentive, and that is my mom's going to read Boys of Tommen. And I've never been more excited for anything more in my life. Like, this, this is it. This is my Roman Empire. When people say that something's their Roman Empire, this is mine, okay? So I have an incentive this time, so I'm going to finish my TBR. Mark my words. Write it down. Larry's going to finish April's TBR. Next month, I'm going to come to you, and I'm going to be like, hey, guess what? I read my monthly TBR. I read the entire thing. That's right. That's right. Thank you so much, my shoddy babies. Let me know if any of the books in that list you've read and if you like it, please, I need more incentive. I, I need to know if you love it. I need us to be on this boat together. And let me know if you want to see a vlog. I love you, I love you, I love you.